Hi everyone, I'm your host Law of the West, and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Drake Vulture and talking about what my impressions are for both it and the newly implemented salvage career path. The Vulture is to salvage what the Prospector is to mining. It's the smallest ship in its category, and it was designed to specifically cater to solo pilots. For components, it has two size 1 coolers, two size 1 power plants, and two size 1 shield generators. And they can be found all scattered throughout the interior of the ship, tucked away in any available spot that they could be squeezed into. For weapons, it has two gimbaled size 1 repeaters that are mounted onto the sides of the cabin. Its interior is divided up into two decks that can be further subdivided into three distinct areas, which are the cargo bay, the habitation section, and the flight deck. The cargo bay is where the filler station spits out cubes of RNC. It's also where the cargo grid is located, which by design can hold a total of 12 SCUs. But with physicalized cargo now being a thing, it can carry a lot more than that if you stack the extra cubes outside of the grid and leave one more inside of the filler station. The habitation section is located on the top deck, and it's got a bed, a bathroom, a shower, a place for personal storage, and a locker. It also has enough open countertop space to hold an appliance like a food processor or a coffee maker. The flight deck has a very Argo-like feel to it, which has great visibility with minimal obstructions. And I especially love how you can open a sliding door that's on the left of the pilot's seat and walk directly out onto a gangway that connects to a ladder. And having two methods for entering a ship that has any amount of interior space is becoming an absolute necessity. And having direct access to the flight deck is a great way to cut down on would-be marauders who are trying to sneak aboard. And so far, hull stripping seems to be the perfect zen occupation. And I immediately had images of Power Wash Simulator pass through my head as I first started raking the salvage beams back and forth across the hull of a wrecked ship. And there's something that's oddly satisfying about the whole process. You can turn your brain off and just get into the moment, and I feel like it's already starting to turn out to be a great contrast to how the other career paths work. And the devs previously stated that they wanted to have some kind of skill-based element that's involved with hull scraping. But not every career path has to have a fancy gimmick associated with it. And not everything needs a mini-game or some kind of complicated plan to have to follow in order to make it work. In fact, I love that this career path could be so blissfully meditative in its process. And salvaging in the Vulture has already started to become my favorite way to pass the time whenever I found myself flying solo. And on top of that, they haven't even begun to add in things like components, fuel, weapons, and items stripping from a wreck ship. And they've only just begun to touch upon the possibilities when it comes to raiding a derelict. And so far there's suit lockers, weapon racks, interior storage compartments, and cargo holds for you to search through. And then there's the ship computers to download information from, ship components to take, and a whole variety of other random items that can be found throughout the ship for you to collect and bring back with you. It's basically going to be one of the most satisfying ways to binge feed your inner loot goblin. I've also started to see a symbiosis begin to unfold between fighters and salvagers. And it seems that combat missions are going to end up being a great way to generate a veritable feast for the vultures to swoop in and consume. And there's even room for another ship to join in on this newly budding ecosystem, and that's a cargo hauler that could be used to carry the excess cubes of RMC. They could help to remove the cargo limit which currently acts as a gating mechanism for the vulture, and that's going to allow you to be able to extend out your gameplay sessions so that you can keep going for as long as the fighter can keep creating wrecks for you to munch on. So far, the only issue that I've had with Salvage is how the RMC production line works. And it's that every time it creates a box, you have to stop what you're doing, go to the fill station, eject it, and then you have to get it out of the way before you can make another one. And it won't process any more boxes until you do. This has created a new position that's become known as the box jockey. And so far, it is one of the least satisfying jobs to be stuck with when you're salvaging. And the designers created this system to work this way in order to make more multiplayer roles for people to engage in. But since the Vulture is a solo ship, this really ends up being more of an inconvenience than it does anything else. So I really hope that they workshop this part of the salvage process a bit more. But other than that, I've been having a lot of fun with both the Vulture and salvaging in general. And even though I have a reclaimer, I found that the Vulture is a lot better choice to go with if you're planning on flying solo. And here's one last recommendation that I have for Vulture owners who want to be more productive at salvaging while still being a solo pilot. And that's to look into getting a Liberator for a second ship. And the main reason for this pairing is because you can use it to overcome all the limiting factors that the Vulture has without having to upgrade to a multiplayer salvage ship like the Reclaimer. So it gives you all the benefits that comes from using a large ship while still allowing you to be a solo pilot. For example, it can greatly extend out the Vulture's range. It can act as a place to drop off your excess RMC ad after you've filled the Vulture's cargo hold. It also has automatic defenses you can use for additional protection while you're hull scraping. 
and his shields can act as a secondary layer of defense. It's also going to have plenty of room for storing any of the salvaged components, ship weapons, and anything else that you've salvaged that's too big for the Vulture to normally be able to carry on its own. And this is going to allow you to maximize the earnings that you get from every wreck that you come across, no matter how big it ends up being. I just want to throw that out there for you as an idea for anyone who's planning on building a solo fleet that's centered around the salvage career path. Well, that's going to be it for this video on the Drake Vulture. I've been your host, Law of the West. Thanks for watching, and take care.